Right, hello everyone, welcome back. It is now Wednesday the 24th of March. It's absolutely lovely afternoon. Uh, haven't been here long at the garden, probably been here for about 10 minutes. Uh, it's lovely and warm inside this greenhouse, so I'm going to tackle a couple of jobs. Uh, but first things first, I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the gardening channel, of course, and it is for beginners. Uh, I am a beginner. This is going to be my third season now. Uh, so any tips, any advice you've got, feel free fire them over or if you want to ask me anything you know fire away uh, i don't mind uh, but cheers for subscribing i hope you enjoy the content uh, that we put on uh, and like i say you know come along see what we'll get up to ask any questions you want you know any tips any advice feel free fire them over uh, i appreciate that uh, but yeah guys what we're going to do is because it's lovely it's a lovely day uh, we're going to set some seed away so Last year, I grew some tomato plants, and uh, they were in my old honey tunnel. And then what happened was is, uh, I grew some marigolds. And these are, uh, these are a French red cherry. You get different, you get different kinds. You can get African marigolds, because I had a couple last year. The vanilla F1s, absolutely stunning uh, plants there and what. Lovely and uh, white, bright white. Uh, absolutely stunning. I had also, you can get, I think they're called the honeycomb, honeycobs of these, uh, which are the yellow ones. I think that's what they're called. Uh, I have got a pack of lying around somewhere, so if I find them, I, I'll give you a little look. Uh, but these ones, I love these. Uh, they like got a two-tone effect. That's what, I, that's what I like about them. You've got the red and you've got the orange. And they're a lovely, lovely plant. When I grew, these are a companion a plant, by the way. These are good for your tomatoes and stuff, and they uh, keeps the green fly and stuff like that away. Uh, I had no issue whatsoever last year with any of my tomato plants. Were absolutely fantastic. These here yeah, did grow quite tall. The ones that we had, and uh, they grew quite tall. But I don't know if that's because of one side of a pony tunnel. Uh, but they were lovely plants, and like I say, I had no issues, nothing with my tomato plants. So I'm going to grow these again. I'm not going to put as many inside the new pony tunnel this time because the last time I think I put about two two plants in with each uh, tomato plant, so I had loads of what was just covered. You know, uh, was nice. Don't get us wrong, uh, but I'm not going to have as many. Uh, so we're going to set some of these away. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in these trays because that's what I done last year. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let them be in that tray till they get a certain size. Nice, nice and big, and then all I want to do is just pull them out in little clumps and just stick them into some little cups or some little pots, little cups or some uh, little pots, ready to be transplanted in the uh, pony tunnel. So what I'm going to do is I set these away. They're going to be sitting inside of the potting shed. Also, I may have a little look to see what other stuff I got. I got some lobelia. Uh, I want to set them away like soon as. Uh, I got some other stuff. Uh, grew them last year. Clenger. They're good and all. But uh, I'll just see what I got. See what I got, what I can go through. But first things first, I'm going to set these away because that's the main thing. Ready to go with my tomato plant. Then what I'm going to do is So some of this calabrese is looking really good yeah And it's a shame I don't want to waste it So I'm just going to go through them And I'm just going to put them in the little cups And they can sit inside of the uh, pot and shed and, But also I'm going to go through some of the uh, red Red drum head uh, That's a red cabbage And hopefully it's a cabbage where I can pickle Because uh, that's what I want to do with it Maybe I want to pickle it but we'll go through some of them and I'll let you have a little look. It's trying to find places to put stuff, but it's getting canny for. I'll probably wait till tomorrow or something like that. And I'm going to go through some more of the cheesy F1 cauliflowers because they're looking really good. And like I say, I really enjoyed them, so I want plenty of them.
the keel. This keel is going to be ready to go through soon, so never grew keel before. It's going to be my first day growing it, uh, but I do like that, I do enjoy it. Uh, this is the uh, purple, purple one. I can't remember the actual name, it's Scarlet, I think. I can't remember now, but that's it there. So we will be going through some of them, but I'll probably wait and do them at the same time as I do the cauliflowers. So then, I'm going to get this, I'm going to fill it up, and all I'm putting inside of here is some uh, seed uh, seed compost, I'll show you. Where are you, where are you, where are you? Boshua, that's it there, that's the stuff I'm using for seeds and cuttings. It's nice and fine, it's got some, uh, it looks like it's got a bit of sharp sand inside of it. I'm not putting loads of compost in, it doesn't need loads of compost, so it's probably about half full. So I'm going to pre-soak that now. Yeah, I've got my water and can. Right then, so like I say, I grew these last year, lovely, lovely plants. I think I kept your own seed, to be honest with you, I probably got your own seed somewhere inside of that main shed. Uh, but this is a half a pack, yeah, so I just, might as well just use them. So that is the seed there. A nice little handful there. I don't need loads of them, like I say, I'm not doing loads, so I just sprinkle them about. Obviously, I give them to other people if uh, anyone's out there, any like anyone around the plot and stuff. I like the share stuff if I can, you know. So, with them being quite, quite big, you can like move them around a little bit you know so they're not all cluttered together as such but that's in there just hide in like that i put a little bit of compost on the top and there you have it uh, that's it that, that'll do. That'll just soak into the uh, into the water, the, the topsoil, and uh, that should start them off. So I'll pile the tag on them, and then what I'll do is, that there will sit inside of the uh, potting shed, okay? So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'll have a full seed pack and see what other stuff I can quickly set away. Because I've got two more of these trays, so I might as well use them up, and then they'll sit inside of the potting shed as well. Uh, we'll have a quick little look, and then I'll show you some of the uh, red drum and stuff because I'm going to get that potted up as well. So I'll quickly crack on with the seeds. Right guys, so I just managed to set one more tray away of seeds. Uh, I've just done the calendar. The other tray wasn't the best of. Uh, so I've just done the calendar and the marigolds, the French red cherry. They're sitting inside of the potting shed. Uh, so I'm happy with them. We are going to go for some more seed. Uh, maybe it's tomorrow or over the weekend uh, we'll see because we're going to just keep on setting seed away especially when it's nice like this we've got some uh lobelia to go through we've got some river swan daisies to go through uh, grow them last year or swan daisies just small little plants spread about uh, absolutely stunning little flowers on them little uh, white ones and, and little purple ones uh, absolutely beautiful so we're going to be doing some more of them but like i say guys we'll see how we'll get on in the next couple of days but i just went through some of my red drum head the red cabbage 
So all I'm going to do is, is stick them into these little white cups, a few holes in the little bottom, pre-soaked. I'm going to stick my finger in it, just like that. I've got one here, so I'm holding it. Like I say, guys, hold it by the leaves uh, because you don't want to be damaging any of this. And then you see like a little line on it where you're going to be going up to, roughly about there. And there you have it, that's one. I've got about seven. So I'll show you again, that's it there. Nice little root ball on it. Pre-soaked. Stick your finger in it, made a little hole. Push it in, up to where you can see where the first leaves come out. And there you have it. So what I do is, I got the rest of them finished and then I'll have a little look and see what else I can uh, crack on with. Okay. Right guys, uh, so what I've been doing is I've just been going through some more of the uh, calories broccoli and uh, all I've been doing is just figure, filling up these half pint cups uh, with multi-purpose compost, same as what I've just done the drum head, the red drum head with. So multi-purpose compost, it's just been pre-soaked. These are looking fantastic, to be totally honest with you. If I just pull one out and show you. So we've got a nice little root on that. So same again, just stick your, stick your finger in it, put a little hole in. Hold it by the leaf. It's a little bit fiddly. Fiddly diddly diddy. And there you have it. So I've got nine, ten. So I've just done ten of these. There we go. So I've got 10 there. Also guys, I have got some knocking around over there. I've got another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got about 17 of these all together, which is more than enough, more than enough plants. You know, uh, never grew these before. This is what I've been recommended to grow. And uh, I have done a little bit of research and stuff like that. And uh, they do sound like a, a good uh, property. Yeah, the calibris, that's what that is. So then, them ones there, because I already got seven sitting inside here, them ones there will sit inside of the pot and shed. I've got some more left in there and some more red drum head. Yeah, I'll go through these the next couple of days. So then guys, I think that's it. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, so we managed to do some calabrese, we managed to do some of the uh, drum head, also we've done some of the marigolds and also we've done some of the uh, calendula as well. Uh, everything here is looking really good, uh, my Rebecca has started to come through now which I'm really pleased with. We've got some of the Mexican sunflowers. They're starting to come through now, which are the, I think they're like a pink colour. I got them off my Ellie. Uh, so hopefully they're going to be nice, uh, nice flowers. Uh, so yeah, everything's looking spot on. Really, really pleased with the progress, what we're making at this moment of time. Them peas down there are looking absolutely fantastic. They're starting to get loads of little flowers on them now. They're starting to open up. So we're going to get a nice little crop off them, which I'm pleased with. Because like I say, they're taking up no room. And uh, they're absolutely doing the flying away anyway so that's it guys uh, for the day like i say they're going to go inside of the potting shed and hopefully i'll get back with you tomorrow so cheers for watching and uh, hopefully i'll catch you back here tomorrow so cheers for now right hello everyone welcome back it is now friday the 26th of march 
uh, just popped the garden guys just to check on everything it's just a flying visit of the day uh, i didn't make it up here yesterday just because i had a lot of stuff i needed to sort out uh, with dad's been up here though today uh, he's managed to get rid of, of that pony tunnel what was sitting there the little one uh, he's going to put a greenhouse there he's decided to make his own greenhouse uh, due to he was looking online and stuff and uh, a lot of them were out of stock uh, he did order one but he uh, changed his mind on it because uh, he didn't like the, the style of it or something he's, uh, the plastics the one see through uh, me personally uh, greenhouse is a greenhouse but he's been recommended not to go for a one where it's not clear uh, due to the, the could stretch for the light and stuff like that me personally greenhouse is a greenhouse but never mind that's that is that is a project if he wants to crack on and do that he can do that that's no bother whatsoever uh, like i say i'm going to be up here mainly sunday uh, because i'm going to get the rest of that potty tunnel sorted ready for the plastic to go over so that means all the framework's going to be sorted out over the weekend we're going to tie the back end up and then also we're going to work out where we're going to be putting the uh, the netting around for the ventilation because I got to bring, I, I want to start bringing my chili plants up from home because they're dying to get up now. They're a canny size. Uh, I've got them all staggered, so they're all different sizes and that, you know. So everything's okay, but I want to start bringing them up now. So I've got plenty of chilies, plenty of peppers. So I'm going to gradually just bring them up and see how they get on with the the, the weather, you know. It's mainly the night time what I'm worried about, uh, where the temperatures drop uh, quite low. Uh, but fingers crossed, they'll be okay. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to bring them up because, like I say, most of them are pretty well established and uh, they're dying to get up, basically. Even with giant meat, that's dying to get out and all. Uh, my timings and stuff like that are, are, are not the best of, but end of the day, guys, it's all learning. Uh, I am improving year in, after year after year, you know what I mean? So, just got to keep on going, what I'm doing, and uh, eventually I find my feet, you know. Uh, but everything here is looking kind of good. Apart from a uh, 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 lettuce, so that one there is not looking the best off. So I will be setting some more of them away again. Uh, but that could be down to me that they I'm watering instead of watering underneath. I'm just drilling, putting a little bit of water on the top, and it's obviously dampening them off. It's it's making them rot. So I'm learning. Like I say, guys, uh, these ones are looking quite good though. So I'm just going to go through them bit by bit. Uh, these ones here, I'm going to let them be a little bit longer. I'm going to go through them, then we'll put these inside of some multi cell trays. But yeah, what, what I'm learning is, is when your seedlings are only little like that, uh, just water from underneath, like the bottom, you know, like put them in trays and stuff, so it just sucks up its, its own moisture. Uh, because you're watering on the top, what I notice in there is because only little and just soft and tender, uh, it's just rotting them, you know what I mean? So, like I say, I'm learning about watering and and, uh, and how to water them, you know, it's really important because you have issues like that. Lettuce is our fast growers, uh, I remember we dad, well I say they're all, uh, I remember we dad grew some last year and he had them all over the garden, uh, he had them in tubs, buckets, you name them, all over the place, so... You know, we're only going to have a little mess around with them. We're going to do a little bit of experiment inside of the pot and shed with them and uh, put them inside the trough and stuff and see how they get on. So nothing's lost, you know what I mean? The 25 pence, 50 pence, so it's now. So we'll set some more away again. Uh, I have got some two more different variety there, so everything's fine. But yeah, everything in here is up and spot on. Hopefully on the weekend, we'll be setting some more flowers away. And also, I want to go through some of my kale. When you get them potted up so they're sorted i'm going to be going through some more of the cheesy f1 cauliflowers they were fantastic lovely little uh, seedlings them are there so i'm going to get them potted up but they they were lovely uh had a lovely crop off them last year that's why i choose to grow them again a nice big cauliflower uh hopefully i'm going to get that with that uh calabrese hopefully i get a nice big uh, broccoli head Never grow these before, but they're looking nice little uh, ceilings here, so I'm going to get them potted up. We'll do that over the weekend. I'm 
my ready sunflowers are looking kind of good so what i'm going to do with them is i'm going to put them into either a half pint cup or a little white cup and then I'll, i may just put them in a little white cup and then then let them be in there for a bit and then into a half pint cup and then into a pint cup and then plant it out i may do something like that you know just depending on the time and how quick these actually grow because i really don't know uh, but they're looking good you know So I had some spare tomato plants, I've got my main tomato plants are at home and I uh, had, had some spare at home so I thought I'll bring them down to the garden uh, I put some in some pots and uh, I'll just see how they get on because I remember when I grew some last year I kept some inside of this greenhouse and they were lovely, they were lovely plants absolutely lovely, they were better than the ones we were at home so that's them there and uh, they're standing up straight they seem to be happy, you know what I mean uh, obviously you got to watch them in case they start turning a funny colour but they seem to be okay but like i say guys my main are at home and on the windowsill at home and upstairs and the, the the lovely little nice little strong plants but like i say these these are just happy enough sitting inside of there these are just spares uh, these are probably just go wherever we've got room for them to go you know so see how they get on why not so yeah everything seems to be doing okay we're going to get the fishers out that's going to be happening over the weekend uh, I'm going to go through some of the calories, the kale and the cauliflower and then what we're going to do is I'm going to go through some more of the seeds, flower seeds see what flower seeds I can set away and also we're going to go through some more, maybe some more brassicas and see, I might do some more different cabbages or something like that and uh, we'll just see, we'll see what we'll get on with uh, also we might go for the onions and start getting more onions out and all uh, because uh, it's a good time now to get more onions out uh, so we may find a little patch around the garden and uh, I've got a few of the onions in here got some onions here, these are stir on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through them all and just make sure it's no soft ones but you've got some lovely little sets in there, nice size sets. Uh, so we're going to go through them and then we'll get them uh, transplanted out, hopefully. Also what we're going to do is, we're going to, uh, I'm going to do some red ones. I'm not going to do loads of red ones but I, I am going to do some and because uh, I tried for about two years now, never ever had a, a decent red onion. Uh, they're always bolted or they're just rotted away. Uh, so I, I find them quite hard to grow but I'm not going to give up I'm going to give them another shot again and uh, we're going to find a nice little spot in the garden where we could put them in and just keep an eye on them you know what I mean don't let them dry out too much over the, uh, over the hot weather when we, the hot weather kicks in uh, because that'll just end up making them bolt and stuff uh, just keep an eye on them uh, but these are normally alright uh, well I say they're normally alright the last time we've been doing them they've just been rotten and stuff like that we had a few but not loads uh, so we'll see we'll see how we get on so yeah we're gonna they might be going out over the weekend so got a few jobs to do Just tackle the rest of that potting tunnel go through some more seeds and set some more seeds away and just make sure we've got everything going what we're, what we're going to be going around the garden uh, more or less uh, check the flowers we'll go through some of the kale saw some of the kale out also, once all that's done, and the sunflowers and the pine are sorted, we might, and the onions, if we can get the onions in, we might have a little look at this little patch just here, what we dad sorting out and just start getting the framework up, give my hand, get the framework up for his, uh, his new greenhouse, and uh, we'll see, we'll see what gets on. The fishers, they're going to be going out as well, get them planted out, so they're transplanted out, and that's it done, that's it done, so, like I say guys, all the weekend's going to be the mainly the time I'm going to start getting things sorted but I'm really pleased with everything the way things are looking I've got some more Swiss chard over there which I'm going to start going through soon so I've got some more Swiss chard yeah what I'm going to be going through soon because uh, all you do with these is once they grow a certain size you just nip the leaves away whatever you want to use you know what I mean so you don't you don't need loads of the plants 
you know. Uh, also, we've got some of uh, the beetroot there. These are the rainbow ones, all different kinds. So I will be going through them and all and getting them sorted out. And we can get them into little cups or little pots or whatever we've got. And then we can get them uh, transplanted out and all once they get a certain size. And also I've got plenty more seed inside of there. And what I could do with them is I can just uh, just directly sow them outside. Yeah, all the uh, peas down here are looking really good. I've got loads of flowers on. What I do is, guys, uh, tomorrow, if I remember, or Sunday, uh, I spin these around, I like to have a little look, and you can see how it's getting on. Fantastic. I'm um, noticing now as I'm looking at the uh, grapevine, starting to get buds on it now, green buds. So I've got a little green bud down there coming through, where I can see. Got a little green bud there coming through. Got a nice green little bud there coming through. So it's starting to wake up, so I'm really pleased with that. I don't know what to do for the best. Uh, do I do I feed it without? Do I put any uh, any any sort of feed on it? What what will it like? You know, just to give that a little bit of boost. Uh, I'm going to look into that and see. Or oh, I speak to someone uh, around the plot and they ask because uh, I did put a bit of manure over the top of it, like over the winter, uh, just to put a bit of mulch on it. And uh, I don't know if that helped it or done anything. I do not know. Uh, but I'm going to have a look into it and see if it's basically do I need to feed it now just a little light feed uh, just to kick it in and then obviously when the fruits and that come on uh, and then you probably have to feed it with some other stuff because like I say guys I never grew a grapevine before this is going to be in its second year now so I don't know if I'm going to get any fruits off this this year or what I do not know uh, but I, I'll speak to someone around the plot uh, and uh, find out but I'm really pleased with that. It's alive. Uh, but hi uh, guys, uh, like I say, not a lot's going on. It was just a flying visit, checking to make sure everything's okay. Like I say, with dad's been up yeah, he's starting to make work in progress on the uh, the new greenhouse what he's building. We're gonna tackle the rest of that frame off 100% over the weekend and uh, get all that sorted. So when I get a couple of nice days, I wanna get the plastics on because like I say, with chili plants and all that sort of stuff, it's ready to come up. It's the dying to come up. And I'm going to get them up and get them sorted. Uh, and that's it. They can sit inside of the potting shed, or if I can make some room in here, because it's getting pretty full, yeah, I'll make some room in here. Uh, but that's it for, for the day. Uh, cheers for watching. And like I say, guys, hope you're up here on the weekend and uh, we'll, we'll crack on and do as much as we can. So, see you then. Right, hello everyone. Welcome back. It is now Sunday, the 20th of March. Uh, just pop the garden guys because I'm going to tackle some jobs today. Uh, I did come up yesterday but it was just a quick flying visit. Uh, unfortunately I've been chocolate brought this week. Uh, haven't had time to do nothing, absolutely nothing. Uh, but never mind, uh, I'm here today. So what we're going to do is we're going to tackle the rest of the pony tunnel. So what I mean by that is we're going to get the rest of the framework all sorted out. So basically, hopefully next weekend, if, it's, if the weather's alright because it's a long weekend, it's a bank holiday weekend because it's Easter. Uh, it might give us a great opportunity to get the plastics put on. Uh, so that's what I want to do. I want to get that pony tunnel sorted because I need to get it done and dusted so I can start bringing up the chilli plants and stuff like that. Uh, so that's one job I'm going to be tackling. Also, I'm going to be daughter. So what she's going to be doing is, is she's going to be uh, putting some bulbs out for us. I've got some lilies. I'm going to get her to direct them straight outside uh, just to keep her busy. And also the fishers and all, I'll get her to find a little spot around the garden and we'll, put that, we'll get them located as well. Also, we're going to go for the onions. Uh, I've got some stir on. Uh, Millie's going to go through the sets now, get them all sorted out. Uh, basically, get rid of the, the rotten ones and go for all the good ones and stuff, you know. And then we'll get them transplanted out. Uh, I've got a nice big, bigger ground there already prepped up, ready to go. We just need to hold a little bit and uh, give it a little bit of a rake. And then we'll get them sorted out and we'll get them transplanted out. And that's another job done. Uh, also, with dad's been up and all, uh, he's been tackling his new greenhouse. So what I do is I spin his around and uh, I'll let you have a little look at that. Because uh, he's just in the middle of it, sorting it out now. Uh, he's doing bits and bobs a bit. Looking kind of good, to be totally honest with you. Uh, so he's going to tackle that as well. Uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, what I do is I spin his around. Uh, and we're going to have a look at some jobs what we're going to be doing and uh, we'll start cracking on with them and then at the end of the videos I'll meet you back here and we'll get this video ended and we'll get it uploaded tonight hopefully so see what we're going to crack on with and I'll catch you back here in the greenhouse okay so I'll see you soon 
Right guys, uh, I've started to make some more work in progress on my pony tunnel. So as you can see here, what I've gone and done is I've gone and put some skirting just along there. So the plastics will come over. I will staple gun it along there. Then I will stretch it over this side. Uh, I'm going to put a skirting board along here as well. St staple it to there. And then I will put a lot along it to keep that section on. And then I will pull this bit here down tight and I would stitch it along the bottom as well. I'm still trying to work out how to do the netting. I was going to put some netting along here, uh, but I'm worrying about how to get the plastics around this side. Uh, hopefully I'm going to start getting this all tackled with the plastics uh, next weekend, if we've got a nice day, uh, because the long weekend, it will be in the bank holiday Easter. Uh, but all I'm doing, like I say guys, is just sorting that out along there. So it comes over, staple gun it all the way along, Stretch it over the other side, stable gun all along, batten along it to secure it in, and bring the bottom down. And take this door off, stretch it all the way around. So we'll be getting rid of this, stretch it all the way around, so I've got a good stitch on it, and then put a bit batten down there. Then what I want to do is, I want to tackle this bit after I've done this side. Uh, what I want to do is, I want to build a little window inside of there so I will put like a bit of beam across there build the frame of the window with the two hinges on so I can open outwards and then uh, I can work I want to put netting on there plastics on there or what and like these little gaps here uh, I might just put some netting inside of there or some plastics I don't know I really don't know there's loads of different ideas uh, so I'm doing it bit by bit but I, I want to get it finished now uh, because like I say it's not going to be long now and I need to get everything sorted inside of here uh, so what I do guys is I tackle this little last bit here I sort out the window and I'll have a quick little look and hopefully fingers crossed we'll be getting some onions in today as well I don't know if you can see down there but we dad's in the middle of building his greenhouse right there it's looking kind of good uh, so I will let you have a quick little look at that also, my Millie has gone and done some, uh, put some bulbs in. Uh, got some bulbs coming along here. Some tulip, uh, some lilies and stuff. She just directly put them straight in the ground. Well, there's only about four of them, so they're just being put along the back there. Uh, see if anything comes from them. A couple of, couple of other there, where it's starting to come through. Where she's wet it a little bit, sorry. Uh, but yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, like I say, I'm going to tackle the rest of that. And then I'll just have a quick little look, okay? And then we'll have a look at the onions. And because uh, Millie's starting to go through them now, we thought I was going through the onions. And uh, she's just sorting out the uh, good ones to the bad ones. And then we'll go through them all, okay? Right, and guys, uh, so what I've gone and done is, I've gone and put a bit of timber along there. So we can get the stitch do when I bring it over. Also on the back here, I put a little bit of timber there. So I just need to build the window, which I will do next week. Just build that window. I was going to do it now, but I've got other stuff. I want to get the onions in. Uh, I'm going to build that next week, and then get all the plastics on. And then once the plastics on, I will cut an X out, peel that around. Stitch it, stitch it, stitch it, stitch it, and then I will install the window so the window will open. Don't know how I'm going to do the window, I don't know if I'm going to put netting on the window or what, and then put some netting on the door. I uh, haven't decided yet, but hopefully next weekend, if we've got some decent weather, this whole pony tunnel should be done and dusted. Because, like I say, guys, not long now. So, then what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go through some of our fishers which are sitting right there. So we're gonna find a decent little location around the garden where we're gonna be putting them. I'm gonna get this a little rake over, get it sorted out, and then we're gonna get what onions inside of there. Over there, the greenhouse is coming together nicely. I'll let you have a quick look with that uh, soon, once we dad just tackles a little bit more of it. And then what we'll do is, guys, we'll jump in the greenhouse and uh, we'll finish this video off for this week, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, guys, we'll get these uh, fishers uh, located somewhere and I'll let you have a quick little look and then we'll start doing the preparation on this ground, ready for the onions. Right, guys, so we we'll managed to get one of the fishers put there. One there. On there. The one sitting there. 
So just keep a close eye on these throughout the growing season and see how they get on. But all the little neighbours yeah, so come from the cold and they're just sitting inside of the greenhouse. So it's getting quite windy now guys, so I'm gonna be quick. We're gonna go over this section here and we're gonna get this ground here sorted out, ready to put what onions in. So we're gonna do some stir on and uh, they're gonna be going inside of there. We're gonna use this bit of timber here as a guide, uh, but I'll go through it all as soon as I get this raked out, okay? guys so this is the section we're going to be putting our onions uh, this bit here I am going to put some red onions uh, when I get I'm going to have to pick some up uh, Millie is just in the middle of a uh, hole in the ground and that getting it all sorted for it and then this ground had a good good feed with some uh, hen pellets uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use that there as a guide and we're going to start putting my rolls in like I say last time guys, we did put some onions over there and uh, it didn't work out very well for because we're rotting away. That's why we put some at the bath up here. These are the Japanese onions up here in the bath. So we've got some nice little Japanese onions coming on there inside of this bath. It does need a bit of a weed out. But there we have got some alright onions. So this time we're going to do a lot more. I think that's what's going to work out, so we're going to get that all sorted out. We've had a good feed, like I say, and I'm going to go through the onions, what Millie sorted out, and then we're going to start putting my rows in. So, Millie, you'll crack on with that for a little bit, and I'll be back in 10 minutes, okay? Right, guys, it's starting to rain now, so we're going to be pretty quick. Millie's all sorted, she's got the dabber, she's got the onions, what she's been thrown sorted out, so we've got some nice sized clean onions inside of there. Hopefully, it's enough just to cover this section, and I'm going to use this as a guide. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run some down there, some down there, and I'm going to move it over and, and repeat the process till we get as far as we can up to where them garlics are just there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the dabber, Millie's going to pass them over to me, and I'll start transplanting them in. So if you pass that dabber, yeah, pass that please, hon. And if you bring some onions over, so I'm just going to dab, like that, and I'm going to drop the onions in, and then once it's done, I'll let you have a quick little look, okay? So, as you can see, guys, Millie's just pushing them right in, and she's covering them, just so the tip's just sticking out a tiny little bit, and that just protecting them from any birds and stuff like that, things pulling them out, and also, guys, it give them a good chance to get a good hold as well, because they're going to blow up, they're going to puff up, and uh, they should be absolutely fine. So, like I say, she's just, we we'll dabbed the hole, Millie's sticking it in, so move the stones out of the way, Millie. Like them little stones like that, yeah. And make sure it's all straight and pushed in. Just like that. So yeah, we've got a few more to do. So it's going to cover most of this ground, because all that's done. And then what we're going to do is, it is raining a tiny little bit, but we're going to water them in. So we'll keep on continuing doing what we do, and we'll have a little look at what's just been watered, okay? Right guys, as you can see there, uh, my Millie's watering them in. So they just came up with these little markers, what I just put there. And then we're just going to put some red onions just along there. We're not going to have loads of red onions, but we're going to do a few of them. And as you can see there, Millie's just watering them in, like I say. So what I do, guys, that's it for the day. Uh, I'll meet you back in the greenhouse, and I'll quickly show you the new greenhouse, what we dad's building as well. Okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Right, and guys, I'll quickly show you this greenhouse, what we dad's building for our quarter of the day. Uh, this plastic, what he's putting on, is a proper pony tunnel plastic. It's, it's good material, it's nice and thick. I'll just move these out of the way. So my dad's built this all by himself. And he's just, he's done done all the framework first, then just pieced it all together, so it just all screws together. So he's just built all the sides first, then we'll just screw it together. Uh, he just needs to tackle the roof bit. And he's got some benches in there now, which are great. Absolutely spot on. And then he can put his like, tomatoes and stuff down here. He could put his chilli plants along here, or whatever he decides to do. Uh, but it's fantastic. Uh, like I say, He's built it himself, and it hasn't really cost him much. I think it's cost him about 100 quid altogether to build. So, which is which isn't too bad, uh, considering the size of it. I'll try and spin his around here and have a little look at the, the back end of it. So that's the back end of it. 
So what you're gonna, what you're gonna do with the wood there is just gonna paint it all with some engine oil because yeah, that just soak into the wood and it protect, protect that wood and it just go a bit like our fence there. Yeah, but I something canny, really pleased with that. So that's it for the day, guys. I'm gonna meet you back in the greenhouse and we'll get this video ended. Yeah, so we managed to do quite a bit. All that's all sorted out now, which I'm pleased with. Just gotta tackle the window, which should take two minutes. Two minutes. We've got we're bulbs in, the fichas are in, all the onions are in. So that's it. So I'll meet you back inside of here. Right and guys, they're back here in the greenhouse. So that is it for the day and that is it for the week. Eh? So we managed to do some little bits and bobs throughout the week and also managed to get the pony tunnel sorted out. The onions are in now, so I'm happy with that. We're pleased with the fichas are out. Uh, so everything's come together slowly and we're getting there nicely. Uh, with Dad's greenhouse is looking fantastic, you know. Uh, that's what it's all about, you know. Just build your own. If you can build your own, build your own. Why not? Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I want to say cheers for all the likes, all the comments. Uh, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Obviously, this is a gardening channel. Uh, it is for beginners. I am a beginner. This is going to be my third season. So, like I say, any tips, any advice, fire them over. I really appreciate it. Uh, but that's it for the day. That's it for the week. Uh, like I say, guys, cheers for watching. Cheers for all the likes, all the comments, and uh, all the views. Uh, everything. So, thank you very much. Hopefully, we'll get back up here next week. And what we're going to be doing is, is we'll be going to go through some more stuff with lettuces. Getting them sorted out. I was going to do that over the weekend, but times just went nowhere, to be honest with you. We're going to go through with cauliflowers. Some more cauliflowers, because they're looking absolutely fantastic. Nice sized plants. Uh, we're going to go through with kale. Loads of stuff. Got loads of stuff that we're going to be getting on with. So, like I say, guys, cheers for watching. And uh, I will catch you next week, hopefully. So, I'll see you in a bit. Bye.